Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Basic Breakdown. I'm here in the filming studio at Massive Joe's headquarters with resident purveyor of the world's finest pre-workouts, Vince. What's going on? Vince, you have purveyed a very fine pre-workout. I have, yeah. In this episode. Uh, the brand, what's the brand? Raw Nutrition, is it Raw, um, Get Raw Nutrition. Get Raw. Yeah. Okay, so from Get Raw Nutrition, this is what you guys are going to know this by. Seabum. Yeah. Pre-workout version two. Yeah. It's called Thavage. Yeah. Or as I'm uh, pronouncing it, Thavage. Pre-workout. <laughs> I think you said that worse than Chris. It sounds more, it sounds, you know, it sounds more French when you say Thavage. More exotic. Oh, you know what I'm shit. All right, so this is, uh, you guys know, we uh, shot a basic breakdown video yeah. on Seabum's original pre-workout a bunch of months ago. Yeah. Uh, that is no longer a vibe. No. Now this is the new vibe. Yeah. This is the Thavage. Yeah. Vince, yeah. let's take a deep dive. Let's do it. So one scoop mm. uh, is a serving size and that's 14.9 grams yeah. and that's 40 serves per tub. Mm. In saying that, on the nutrition panel is one or two scoop serves. Let's go two scoop serves. Two scoop serves. Which makes the serving size 20 serves per tub. Massive. And it does. What's that? 29.8 grams? It's 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 a Quick protein mass. scoop, Vince. It's almost 30 grams in the pre-workout. It is. Which makes me excited because it means there's a whole bunch of actives in there. At good doses. Yeah, let's go. So first active in here is l citrulline in the 6,000 milligram dose. Mm. Uh, converted into arginine to increase nitric oxide. Yep. Uh, it's going to increase blood flow and muscle pumps. Yeah, a great uh, muscle pump and nutrient delivery boosting ingredient and a massive yep. dose there as well. So we're off to a good start. Bitter alanine in the 3,200 milligrams, which is a precursor to carnosine, mm -hmm. which is going to help buffer lactic acid uh, molecules and help reduce fatigue, really. It is. It's a muscular endurance ingredient. It yep. is clinically dosed. Excellent. Creatine monohydrate in the 3,000 milligrams, mm. uh, which is in there to help uh, with the synthesis of ATP, which mm. is going to increase muscle power. Yeah, it's a well. muscle power boosting, yeah. strength boosting ingredient. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest, for two reasons. Firstly, they haven't used a full clinical dose of creatine monohydrate, which would have been 5,000 milligrams. Yeah. Secondly, they've used creatine monohydrate. Yeah. Like there's better forms of creatine to be taking, especially pre-workout. There is, yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's in there. It's going to help with muscle power, but it's not clinically dosed. Yeah. Uh, betaine and hydrous in the 2,500 milligram dose, mm -hmm. uh, which is really another muscle power ingredient. It is. Can help with hydration a little bit of muscle cells, but really muscle power. It works. Well, there's some good synergism actually with yeah. creatine uh, and uh, betaine. betaine and hydrous or trimethylglycine. Yeah. And that is a good dose, 2,500 milligrams. It is. We then get into your taurine in the 2,000 milligram dose, mm. which is really in there for electrolyte balance and hydration. It is. Um, yeah. It's going to help with muscular endurance it as well. Will. Some synergism with the beta alanine in there. Uh, and that's a good dose of taurine as well, the 2,000 milligrams. Uh, Agmatine sulfate is then next in the 1,000 milligrams. Vince, you jumped over two ingredients. Did man. I? I did too. Sorry, I'm looking. My, <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> God damn. Don't be cutting the viewers short, man. Well, I better go back. Jump Glyph back. I want to kiss myself. Let's go. Glycosize in a 2,000 milligram dose. There we go. Uh, which is a cell volumizer, really. It is. Um, so it's going to bring more blood into muscle cells. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's going to help with uh, with muscle volume, volume and therefore muscle pumps, pumps. really as a yeah. side effect. But primarily, I consider glycosize more of a muscular endurance ingredient. Yeah. Just through promoting hydration. Going to help you train for longer, stimulate more muscle growth, burn more calories, and do all that kind of fun shit. Yeah. And then the L-tyrosine comes mm. next in the 1,000 milligram dose, yep. which is in that increase the production of dopamine and reduce stress and increase feeling of well-being. It is going to increase your mood, your feeling yep. of well-being. That dose is not a bad dose at all in the 1,000 milligrams. Yeah, not too bad. Then we get to the agmatine sulfate in the 1,000 gram as well, mm -hmm. uh, which inhibits the breakdown of excess nitric oxide, really. It so it's going to give you longer lasting muscle pumps. Yeah, it's a pump prolonging ingredient. Yeah. Uh, and very excited to see it because when we have these massive doses of citrulline, yeah. uh, we're boosting nitric oxide through the arginine pathway. And what our bodies try and do is they try and get back to equilibrium. Yeah. So they try and uh, break down that excess nitric oxide straight away yeah. through the arginase enzyme. Uh, and agmatine sulfate blocks the action of that enzyme. So it allows the, the elevated nitric oxide to last longer and prolong those muscle pumps. Yeah. We then have some coconut fruit water powder in the 500 milligram dose, yep. which is really another hydration based ingredient. Yep. Gonna uh, help electrolytes, with, uh, really. Yeah, going to help with muscular, muscular uh, hydration and therefore muscular endurance as well. Yeah. 
We then get into some alpha GPC mm. uh, in the 400 milligram dose, uh, which stimulates the formation of acetylcholine. It's going to help mental focus. Yeah. Uh, dosage on that, Vince? 400 milligrams at your 50%. Yeah. Um, not bad towards the lower side. It is, But yeah, yeah not bad. Yeah, I would have liked to see, especially in that two scoop dose, I would have liked to see it around 600 yeah. uh, milligrams plus. Yeah. But it is a good form of choline. Yeah. Uh, and it is a decent dose as well. So definitely yeah. going to help with mental focus in there. We then have your caffeine and hydrose in the 360 milligram dose. Mm -hmm. um, for me, which is a really good dose, mm -hmm. two scoops, yeah, not, it's not, not too, too much. much. Really, yeah, really yeah. good. Uh, bitter orange extract, which is your synephrine. Vince, you jumped over theanine. Where that? I did too. Well, what there you go. What's going on, mate? I don't know. I got my we notes need to get you up. some Thavage pre-workout yeah, before you these videos. God damn. <laughs> L-theanine in the 150 milligram dose, which pairs quite well with caffeine. Yeah. Uh, it really smooths out the caffeine, mm -hmm. uh, so you don't crash and, yeah. Mm -hmm. We then have your bitter orange extract um, or your synephrine yes. in the 100 milligram dose, which yields six milligrams of synephrine. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to... It's uh, another stimulant, it's, a, really. it's a stimulatory. There are some thermogenic effects as yeah. well, but really being in a pre-workout is just going to help with the energy production side of things. Some nice synergism with caffeine in there as well. Yeah. We then have some dark caffeine malate, uh, the 64 milligram dose yielding uh, 45 milligrams of caffeine. Well, I think it's going to be 90 milligrams in, uh, no, 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 it can't be. No, it can't, no, be. It can't be. That's my bad. I was, yeah. there's so many, listen, there's so many ingredients in this pre-workout. Both of us are getting lost. Right I know. I just, I'm no. <laughs> so an extra 45 milligrams dark yeah. caffeine malate is caffeine attached to malic acid. Yeah. Uh, it yields, what is that? 75% caffeine. Yeah, I believe so. By I weight. Do the math, so it's going to yeah. add 45 milligrams of sustained release or delayed release caffeine, yeah. uh, taking the total amount of caffeine to just over 300 milligrams. Yeah, just over 300. Yeah. We then have some astrogen in the 25 milligrams to make sure you're absorbing everything Man, in here. You're going to need it. And then some hyposinine A in the 100 micrograms, which is a decent dose, which stops the breakdown of acetylcholine. Yeah, some nice, nice synergism there with the, uh, with the alpha GPC. Vince, man, this is a completely stacked formula. It's stacked, man, yeah. It is, uh, it, oh, man, it's monstrous. It is absolutely monstrous. It's good. Let's, uh, let's see how it uh, stacks up against the five effects that we look for in complete stimulant-based pre-workouts. Let's do it. Effect number one, muscle pumps. Big tick. Big tick. Effect number two, muscular endurance. Another big dick. Effect number three, muscle power. I would give it a tick with your creatine and betaine. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's definitely, if it's not a full tick, it's definitely three quarters of a tick yeah. for sure. Um, Effect number four, energy. Good. Effect number five, mental focus, mood, and elevation and well being. That Another tick. Splice. Big so tick. we're at four and three quarters, if not five ticks out of five. Yeah. It really covers all bases for the effects we look for in a complete stimulant-based pre-workout. And it doesn't just kind of tick those boxes, you know, one off. Yeah. There's some really good synergism happening from a muscle pump perspective, from a muscular endurance perspective, from a muscle power perspective, from an energy perspective, Mental and then focus. also from a new, like there's, yeah. there's, syn there's synergism happening everywhere. Yeah. It's really, really well done. Mm. Bravo to C-Bum and Get Raw Nutrition. Uh, they have done an exceptional job with this pre-workout. There's no two ways about yeah, it. Vince, uh, what's happening with the flavors here, man? Two flavors from what I can see so far, a blackberry lemonade and yep. a rocket candy. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's it, that's, that's two the, flavors. The two, the two to start off with. Yeah. Where are we at in terms of price? Well, it's not in the Australian market yet, is what I say. We're, uh, we're trying to get it we're here trying for to get you it. guys. We are trying, but we want it. in the US market. Forty nine ninety nine, yeah, US. Yeah. Which, if we if it came here for a top quality pre workout, you're probably looking around the eighty dollar mark. Yeah. Um, look, it's 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 expensive. It There's is, no two yeah. ways about it. Like even in the US market, fifty bucks for a pre workout is really kind of pushing the the top. upper limits of yeah. of top shelf pre workouts. Uh, just knowing what it retails for in the US, knowing how heavy the tubs are as well. True. Yeah. Because true. you know when we ship shit halfway across the planet, we uh, we have freight expenses that are incurred as part of that. And the heavier yeah. the product, the more those freight expenses are that have to be built into the product cost. Yeah. Vince is going to be at least eighty bucks. Yeah. It could even be pushing above 80 bucks mm. um, just because I, I do the maths in my head quite quickly and I know what the landing cost is going to be. Yeah. Um, but time will tell. 
In terms of availability, we are trying to get it for you guys here in the Australian marketplace. At this point in time, you know, obviously with Seabum winning his third Olympia, yeah. the shit's just blown up and so they're, they're just keeping it in the US at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but we are trying uh, our hardest to, to reach out to get raw nutrition, reach out to uh, to Chris himself and, and make sure that we can get this product over, you, over here for you guys as soon as we possibly can because I know so many of you are really going to enjoy it. 100%. Um, if we can make that happen before the end of 2021, fantastic. If we have to be a little bit patient. Wait till the wins number four. Yep. Uh, hopefully not that long because the Olympia is in December, <laughs> December next, next year. year. Yeah. Hopefully Who not knows? that long. Uh, you know, we're, doing, we're gonna do our best to, to make it a reality for you guys. Vince, Yes. anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. When it comes to all these new episodes of Basic Breakdown and everything else we've got going on here on the channel, that is Basic Breakdown on the all new Get Raw Nutrition Seabum Thabage. I'm going with it. Gone with it. Thabage. Uh, until next time, where we're coming to and from, it's massivejoes.com. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.